why we won't be seeing Meghan Markle in public for the next few months. Meghan Markle will take a step back from the furor of public engagements with her royal beau Prince Harry as she prepares for the big day ahead. The royal wedding in May is slowly creeping up on us, with royal staff frantically preparing for the big day at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. And while royal wedding mania has swept the nation with Meghan's beautiful grin plastered across the country since the whirlwind romance came to light, fans eager to catch a glimpse of the future Duchess may be out of luck. Since their interview together and their first official engagement together in Nottingham, Meghan has been keeping a low profile, as Prince Harry has stepped out at a variety of carol concert this week, including one also attended by ex-girlfriend Cressida Benes, Meghan has remained absent and it is likely to stay that way for the next few months. Meghan is expected to make an appearance with her in-laws on December 25 when all the royals dutifully troop to church in Sandringham for their annual Christmas service. But with her non-royal days numbered, it is thought Meghan will take a step back over the next few months as she settles into life at Kensington Palace. The former Suits star plans to spend her final months before marrying Prince Harry traveling as she visits her family and friends before Christmas and the big day itself. Meghan, 36, is engaged to Prince Harry, 33, with the couple due to marry in spring 2018. Harry's new wife would then become part of the royal family, a role she will be preparing for in the months leading up to the wedding. After the wedding. There are many elements of protocol that will dictate how Meghan spends her time, and how she behaves when she is representing the royals in public. Meghan will join Harry on royal tours around the world, visiting locations such as Australia, Canada and the Caribbean. William and Kate's first tour, to Canada, came just a few months after their wedding, while Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew, who also went to Canada, visited the country one year after they wed. Harry and Meghan will possibly spend some of the autumn abroad on a tour together. Meghan will also undergo extensive royal training both ahead of her wedding and in the months afterwards. Mike Meyer, founder and director of etiquette company Beaumont Etiquette, told Glamour.com, when she meets representatives from foreign countries, she must know how to meet and greet them. Meghan will also need to learn things like how to curtsy. The future Duchess of Sussex is also expected to focus on charity work something she has a long history in. Prince Harry, Prince William and the Duchess of Cambridge set up the Royal Foundation in 2011, which focuses on supporting the armed forces, conservation and young people. Kate is also a patron of a number of charities, the first of which she became in January 2012, nine months after her wedding. It is likely then that Meghan will spend a few months getting to grips with what is expected of her, before branching out on her own.